survey showed that South Africans currently eat twice the recommended daily amount of salt. Now, the problem with this is that too much salt is directly linked to increased blood pressure and heart disease risk. And that's why our Minister of Health, Aaron Motswaledi, recently proposed changes in the allowed salt content of all processed foods. So clearly, a very, very tough and serious topic that we do need to talk about. That's why Andrea is here with us. Mm. Andrea, I, mean, I, I, I know that we do love it. I mean, whether it be brides, whether it be your starches or your Sunday lunch, we love putting on the salt. Why is that? We love putting on salt because we love food. Yeah. And if you add salt onto a food item, it brings out that food item's flavor. So yes. it enhances the flavor or strengthens it. So um, we are actually don't crave the salt as much as the enjoyment of food. So it's, it's more about the flavor that we want to get out of the food that we're eating. Okay, so, so then how do we, is it possible to bring out the flavor without adding the bad part of the salt? Yes, definitely. If you look at um, adding salt to food, mm -hmm. um, there are some alternatives that we um, can look at. Okay. Uh, for example, soy sauces. But before we, before we get to that, um, it's an interesting fact to see that lots of um, vegetables actually contain salt naturally in a healthy form. Okay, I can probably think of one, maybe like a tomato, which yes, has a yes. bit of... A, I'm not saying it because it's there, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm imagining the taste of a tomato. <laughs> well spotted. <laughs> okay, yes. So, so tomato contains salt, but also flavour, and so does celery. I don't know if, if you want to taste that really? piece of celery there. Because I, I usually cook this and then never really get to... Like, so there's salt in this. <laughs> well, naturally it contains salt, yes. Oh, oh. There it is. So if you cook quite with, a lot of it. That's right. Yes, quite it's quite salty. It. So if you cook um, like a stir fry or a stew or a soup, mm -hmm. and you add your tomatoes and onions also have natural salts in them and celery, it's adding salt in a very healthy form ah. and flavour. So mm -hmm. that would allow you to use less salt added to your cooking process itself. Yes. yes. But unfortunately now we can't add celery, onions, and tomato to every single recipe no, we, we cook. So what can we do? What are the healthy alternatives? Now? Well, other healthy, healthy alternatives are um, fresh herbs like basil mm -hmm. and parsley mm -hmm. also add flavour. Um, and then of course spices like black pepper and cumin. This is one of my favourite smells. Oh. Smell that. Oh, it reminds so, me of India. Yes, oh, I'm jealous. Beautiful. I want to go there next time <laughs> with you. Anyway, but, and, and also bay leaves that we also use in curries. Yes. So, so think about things that actually, and, and lemon juice, that add flavour to the foods the food. while we're cooking and that reduces the, the need for salt. Yeah. Now, I see we've got uh, a whole display of soy sauce, but I mean, when I think of soy sauce, I think of having, let's say, your sushi. Yes. And that usually has a high amount of salt in it. So That's right. Are we not missing the point here? Almost, but not really. Mm -hmm. If you look at um, soy sauce, it traditionally contains lots of salt, yes. but also lots of flavour. So at Vital, we saw the opportunity to bring out flavoured soy sauces, where we add even more flavour that mm -hmm. allows us to reduce the salt. Okay. And I'm so impressed because our um, team of product developers came up with um, three flavours, a thick, sweet and sour, mm -hmm. and chilli flavours. Now these two already have 44% less sodium than the regular soy sauce. Okay. So it's almost cut the sodium content in half. Okay. So in other words, there's lots more flavour here, especially with the chilli, if you think about chilli flavour. So that allowed us to use less salt. And then the, the real star of the show is the garlic, ginger and sesame, which contains 60% less sodium. Wow. So if you want to cook, even in salad dressings and where you need to add flavourant, um, the soy sauces, also with the different flavours, add fantastic flavour, yeah. but with a lot less salt. So what, now that I think about it, so when you are cooking, I mean, usually I'd make a nice little stir fry. You take the 60% uh, less that has the garlic and the ginger. So you're adding a lot of the flavour, but a lot less of the salt. So you That's can actually, right. at the end of the day, end up using less of it too. Exactly. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, all right. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll try that out at home, try and make some interesting recipes. But you do have a challenge that you want to put out there to the country. Definitely. Well, the, the one challenge is um, put there by the Minister of Health for industry to try and reduce the salt content of the processed foods we eat. Not only the, the flavorings, but other foods as well. Mm -hmm. And the other challenge is to the Expresso viewers. So and um, we ran a competition, I think last year or the year before, uh -huh. where viewers entered their soy sauce recipes. Yes. So this time, um, the competition is open for people that want to post a healthy recipe using the vital flavored soy sauce variants. Mm -hmm. um, and the winner gets to cook the winning recipe on Espresso live. No Brilliant. pressure. Oh, <laughs> no pressure, she says. So the challenge is being put out there to you. Until the 31st of May, you have the chance to go onto the Vital Health Foods Facebook page and use one of the soy sauces to create your own wonderful and healthy recipe. And who knows, you could be right here live on Espresso cooking your recipe. Let's see what you can do. For 30 Rand a year, you can subscribe to the Vitalize magazine and receive nutritional advice, fitness tips, and amazing recipes. 
Visit vital.coza today.